Hello, and welcome to this presentation using the Rodian Schwartz NRPM. This presentation will introduce you to the NRPM series of over-the-air power sensors, as well as show you how to configure and use these sensors to make various types of over-the-air power measurements. The NRPM is an over-the-air power measurement system that supports simultaneous measurement of up to 12 attached power sensors. These sensors can be used in an open-air test environment, or it can be placed inside of a shield box or chamber. The sensors support a frequency range from 18 GHz to 90 GHz, meaning they can provide coverage for a wide range of technologies, such as the 5G FR2 or millimeter wave bands, 802.11ad and AY, which operate from 57 to 66 or 70 GHz, as well as automotive radars in the 77 to 81 GHz range. The NRPM system provides two different types of power measurements. The first is a numerical continuous average measurement of received power, and the second is a power versus time trace. Before we discuss how to make these different measurements, let's start by going over the different components in the NRPM system. These components are the NRPM A90 or A90D antenna modules, the NRPM3 three-channel sensor module, the PowerViewer software application, as well as an interface or feed-through module, cables, and positioners. Let's take a look at each of these in a bit more detail. The NRPM A90 and A90D antenna modules are the heart of the NRPM system. These modules consist of an integrated Vivaldi antenna and diode detector. This means that the incoming RF is measured directly in the module, the measurement result being output as an analog, non-RF signal. The absence of RF cables means that there's no loss, which is particularly important at high frequencies, and the absence of an RF connector removes the possibility of measurement inaccuracies caused by mismatch. The modules are fully calibrated at the factory with compensated antenna gain, so there's no need to calibrate the system. Other helpful features of these modules include having a specified phase center, that is a precise defined measurement point, and a low radar cross-section, which is important when modules are placed in a shielded environment. Low radar cross-section means that the antenna modules won't cause reflections that might significantly impact measurement results. The NRPM A90D has two antenna modules at right angles to each other. This provides for two measurement channels, one per polarization. The NRPM A90 and or A90D antenna modules are each connected to an NRPM3 sensor module, which collects and processes the received measurement data. The NRPM3 is a three-channel module because each NRPM3 can measure values from up to three separate antenna modules. If more than three antenna modules are needed, additional sensor modules can be added, up to a maximum of four sensor modules or 12 antenna modules. The NRPM3 is connected to the control PC using the NRP-ZKU USB interface cable. But how do the antenna modules connect to the sensor module? For open air test setups, each NRPM antenna module connects to an NRPM Z3 interface module, which then connects directly to the NRPM3. Remember that the single antenna NRPM A90 requires only a single channel, whereas the dual channel NRPM A90D requires two channels, one for each polarization. The NRPM system can also be used in shielded environments, such as with the Rodian Schwartz TS7124. In this case, a filtered cable feed-through, the NRPM ZD3, is used to help preserve the shield box integrity. This feed-through provides the same functionality as the NRPM Z3 interface module that we just saw, and is connected to the sensor unit using the NRPM ZKD3 interface cable. And, as with the NRPM Z3, the feed-through supports a maximum of three channels. Various mounting, positioning, and alignment accessories are helpful in ensuring precise and reproducible results during over-the-air measurements. Mounting brackets or antenna rings can be used in both open-air measurement scenarios as well as within a shield box or chamber. The NRPM system is controlled using the PowerViewer PC software application, which can be downloaded from the Rodian Schwartz website. PowerViewer is used to configure the measurement type and measurement parameters, as well as to retrieve and display the results of these measurements. In addition to a simple graphical user interface, Power Viewer can also be controlled and queried using remote control commands. Measurement results are provided per antenna module in both continuous average and trace mode. Power Viewer communicates with the NRPM3 over USB and can control up to four NRPM3 sensors, meaning a total of up to 12 individual antenna modules. Power Viewer supports three measurement modes specific to over-the-air measurements. 
OTA Single provides continuous average power measurements for up to three antenna modules attached to a single NRPM3 sensor module. OTA Multi Sensor provides the same results, but for up to four sensor modules, or 12 antenna modules total. The third measurement mode is Trace Measurements, which show received power as a function of time. Trace measurements can be performed simultaneously on up to three antenna modules attached to a single sensor module. Continuous average measurements provide numerical values for each of the attached and enabled antenna modules. Measurement parameters such as averaging and aperture time can be manually or automatically configured as well. And as with most RF power measurements, setting the signal frequency helps to obtain more accurate results. OTA multi-sensor mode provides the same type of results, but for up to four attached NRPM3 sensor modules, that is, up to 12 attached antenna modules. Note that measurement parameters such as frequency, averaging, and aperture are sent on a per-sensor basis rather than on a per-antenna basis. Trace measurement, on the other hand, provides graphical results of power versus time, that is, the envelope of the RF signal. This is particularly useful when looking at pulsed, bursted, or other time-varying signals. When connected to an NRPM3 sensor module, Power Viewer can display up to three traces simultaneously, and measurement of various pulse parameters is also possible. Triggering is very important for trace measurements, and the NRPM supports a variety of different trigger modes with user-configurable parameters. So in summary, the NRPM over-the-air power measurement system consists of two main hardware components. The first of these are the NRPM A90 single polarized and NRPM A90D dual polarized antenna modules. These are connected to an NRPM3 sensor module. Various hardware accessories, such as cables, an interface or feed-through, and positioners are also part of the system. In total, up to four NRPM3 sensor modules can be combined for measurements on up to 12 channels. The NRPM system is configured and monitored using the standard Rodin Schwartz Power Viewer application. Power Viewer provides both continuous average and trace measurements on multiple channels simultaneously, and remote control or automation is also possible. This concludes our presentation using the Rodian Schwartz NRPM. Thanks for watching.